What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and I'm going to be showing you the RGB Fusion software here on the Aorus Z270X Gaming 9. This software should be pretty much the same throughout Gigabyte and Aorus Z270 line, especially of course all the motherboards that do have the RGB LEDs in them. As you can see, I'm showing you the motherboard. We'll switch back and forth and I'm really sorry for the quality on the motherboard shot it's being done with a webcam so i can do the picture in picture thing which you'll see um, but it should give you give you an idea of what we can do with the software so we'll switch over to the software here and we have a basic mode and an advanced mode we'll show you the basic features first so of course we're on static that means all of the rgb leds are one single color and of course you can change the color around and you can change the brightness on the scale of zero to 100 percent so We'll change from our red, which we were at, to blue. And you'll go ahead and see that now we, we are all blue. So going back into the software here, uh, we can do pulse, which will pulse. And there's different speeds and everything that you can do for the pulse. Um, I have it on, I believe, the middle speed for pulse. So we'll switch back over. And again, with this, you can select any color that you want it to pulse. So there's the slow speed and then i'll change it to the fastest which is really fast um you can see it pulses quite fast there and then the introductory speed which is really slow um, as you can see here so if we go back into the software you also have music and that will go to the music that you're playing on your system um, I'm not going to show it to you because you won't be able to hear my music, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense for me to play it, but it will. the, the LEDs will react to the music that you're playing. Color cycle will cycle through colors on the board. Um, so there's no settings for this. It will just go ahead and cycle um, all, of the color, all of the LEDs being the same color, and they're going to cycle through the different colors and pulse kind of in and out, as you can see. Pretty cool effect. Um, again, if you really want to show off the board, so if we go back, we did static, we'll do flash, and that just flashes the LEDs on and off. And again, you can set the speed. Um, so I believe I have it at its slowest speed, which I'll show you here. And again, it's still in that blue that we have selected. So you can set the color brightness and the speed. So this is medium speed, and then there, or that's the first speed, and then second speed's a little bit faster. And brace yourself, guys, this third speed is super, super fast. Um, it's kind of almost gives you a seizure. So we'll go ahead and slow that down. There we go. And, uh, we'll go back over and we'll go to the random here and random will basically, um, flash randomly throughout. So what it does is different sections will flash randomly. There's no, uh, set program that it runs. It just randomly flashes LEDs throughout the board. Um, pretty cool little feature and I believe it's random color as well. So that's pretty cool and We'll go back over to the software and we can check out the wave here and what the wave does It's a full spectrum that cascades throughout the armor LED um, So when you select it again, there's no settings when you switch over It's very hard to see but if you look at that armor um, Especially because of our webcam, but it's actually doing a spectrum color down the the those two sections of led so it's really really cool and uh it's one of my favorite things in the basic it just looks really really cool again you have to see it in person i know our webcam's not doing it justice but it is really awesome and finally we'll go to intelligent and this is really cool because it will change the color of the leds based on what's going on so right now we have it on cpu fan and you can see over here that if it's under it's under 1500 rpm it will be green if it's 1500 to uh 2000 it will be yellow and above 2000 rpm it'll be orange so if we go back to our system here you can see we're on green now we can go ahead and change this we can change this to say uh cpu temperature if we wanted and um under 30 degrees is green 30 to 60 is yellow and 61 above is orange so if we transition we're in yellow we are running a little bit hot in the system so you can see we have our yellow right there uh that is pretty much it for the uh basic settings now if we go into advanced we can really fine tune things and get a lot going on here 
So again, we go over to our advanced and you can see there's different sections that we can select. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A total of 10 different sections um, in our board. And as you can see, we actually have them different colors right now. I have every section a different color pretty much. So if we switch over to our board, we can see that every section is a complete different color. Um, so this gives you a, the, a lot of ability to go ahead and switch things around. Now, one really cool thing that you can also do is that you can change the color of your RGB headers right here in the software. So again, if you wanna match them up, you can go ahead and do that. And this one back here, that is for your uh, rear IO cover. So if you connect that rear, rear IO cover, that will light up as well. We don't have that plugged in because we're on a test bench, um, but you can go ahead and do that. So the way this works is we can go into one of these and as you're configuring it, I'll switch over real quick. As you're configuring each section, it turns off the rest of the LED so you can see what you're configuring in real time. So as you can see, I'm configuring this section and you can see, um, Actually, let me transition back. You can see I'm configuring this top section and then when we go back to the board, we can actually see that it is the only thing that's lit up. So we will go back here. And again, for each individual section, we can select static, which I had it at, pulse, flash. And then we have this really cool thing, which is called custom. And what custom does is it allows you to select different color stops. So what that allows you to do is do that wave effect. It allows you to do different things, um, you know, going from color to color. And in my testing, um, my favorite way to do this would be to select each one of these and turn them down to three seconds and then turn the transition down to five seconds and we'll do that on each one i know it's kind of redundant in this video and i hate that please wait uh it just takes a long time this software is a tad bit laggy in my opinion um but it does work pretty well so we have that one in three seconds let's change this one to uh, three seconds almost done here just two more to go And then finally, the last one here, we'll change that to three seconds. And when we go ahead and do that, we have them all set to three seconds and we'll just save that really quick. And if you notice, we'll go back. And if you look at the LEDs that are around the uh, CPU, which is where it says water 3.0, You'll notice that those LEDs every three seconds will actually be changing color. So that's something really cool that you can go ahead and do and set up. It It's really easy to use. The software is super, super simple and I, I really like it. Um, as you can see, that color around there is slowly changing. I should have made it one second just to show you guys. But those colors will go ahead and change and you can do a lot of really cool things with this. Going back to the software. Um, one thing that's cool is that you can export and import different profiles. I haven't found online where uh, Gigabyte has profiles. It'd be cool if they had a section on their website where you could download people's profiles and you don't have to do all the work of changing everything yourself. But again, all of these are extremely easy to configure. Again, we'll just go in just to show you one more time. Just to go in here, we'll make this section uh, red, but uh, we'll make it pulse actually. So we'll go ahead and have this section pulse and save that really quick. And when we transition back over now, that section, it's going to totally mess up our camera, but you can see that section's pulsing. This one by the CPU is changing colors every three seconds. And let's make that uh, the section towards the front of the motherboard. Let's go ahead and make that flash just to show you, you can do everything here independently, which is really cool. Um, so we'll make that one flash really quick and we'll save it and now we'll go back and now you can see we got some pulsing going on we have some flashing going on we have some color changing going on it really is that easy it's completely configurable which i really like the software is almost perfect just a tad bit laggy but it's really cool that you could do all of this within windows um, and just really make your motherboard 
you know, look awesome. So again, this was done on the Aura's Z270X Gaming 9 motherboard. Um, again, it, any of the Z270 boards from Gigabyte and Aura's that have RGB LEDs will have this software. The amount of RGB LEDs obvi obviously depends on the board that you get, but really cool software and it works really well.